They are red, inflamed skin lesions that appear quickly, ooze, and may contain pus. Yes, you're right, hot spots. And they can be found anywhere on your dog's butt. The most common sites are the head, legs, and hips. So what are these painful, itchy, smelly sores that are most of the times hidden beneath your dog's matted fur? Stay tuned because we are going to talk about hot spots. Welcome back guys, my name is Doc Fred Stresho. I'm an animal doctor and every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in this YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Doc Fred's Animal Wellness Center, and we are also on Instagram. My Instagram is Fred Stresho. Do follow me there. And on... Ano pa ba? TikTok, 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 oh yes! TikTok! We are there. So follow us there. We post contents there every now and then. Okay, on with our topic for today. Let's talk about the hot spot. A hot spot, also known as acute moist dermatitis, is an inflamed and infected area of your dog's skin that appears red, raw, moist, and oozing. Dogs may also experience hair loss around that hot spot as a result of licking, rubbing, and biting at that area. These itchy and painful sores can appear quickly and worsen rapidly. Ang bilis dyan, pag nakita mo ngayon, mamayang hapon, talagang malala na. Uh, so while the name might make you think of burns, kasi nga hot spots resulting from an underlying cause like heat or excessive sun, exposure, uh, this implication is a bit misleading. Kasi hindi naman talaga yun usually yung cause. So, they're not always the underlying cause of hotspots. Dogs do not experience hotspots as side effects of too much sunlight. No? Or yung mapapadigit sa may init na, na surfaces. Although that can happen. No? Instead, hotspots arise when a certain patch of skin receives too much attention. Yung pinagdidiskitahan nila yung isang parte ng skin sa sobrang kate. And they'll keep on scratching. No? So whether that be in from from biting, licking, scratching, chewing, or itching, what causes hot spots? No? Hot spots are usually caused by self trauma. When a dog scratches an itch so vigorously that it creates an open wound, sobrang kate. So many things can cause the initial itch in dogs, including allergies, allergies or inhaled allergies that cause itching. Pwede rin yung atopic dermatitis. Number two. Reaction to insect bites. No? Uh, either from, pwede sa fleas, sa mites, and other small insects like halimbawa yung mga bees, or wasp, flies, gnats, or mosquitoes. Pwede rin yan no? kung maninipis yung balat or balihibo ng inyong mga dogs. No? Number three, ear infections. So bacteria or yeast in the ear canal can be so irritating that the dog scratches at his ear creating hot spots on the ear flap behind the ear or on the neck usually nakikita natin yan dito sa forehead sa no kasi yun yung tinatamaan nung pag nagkakamot sila no number 4 is pyoderma ito yung primary skin infections also caused by bacteria or yeast and that, that may incite the dog to scratch an area so much that a secondary hot spot forms no Number five is boredom. Alam nyo, dogs like people develop bad habits. Now, instead of biting their fingernails, tayo mga tao, bored dogs lick their areas that are easily accessible. Halimbawa, when they lie down, the feet and the forearms and uh, right under their faces. So hot spots often occur there. Dito sa mga paa, dito sa hair. Number six is orthopedic problems. Dogs with arthritis or kaya yung back problems tend to lie down much of the time. Yung paghiga, yung lying down, on one side creates abrasions over pressure points like sa hips, sa hocks, or yung ankles, no? Uh, and so ito kasi yung mga bony protrusions, protuberance, and that have little muscular padding, especially in elderly dogs. With diminishing muscle mass, so, mas madali silang maapektuhan. When dog licks the abrasion, a hot spot erupts. Dogs also lick and chew 
at degenerating joints much like people rub a sore knee or relieve the pain creating hot spots in the process so yung paghimas himas nila dito sa ng mga tao dito for dogs they lick they scratch they almost to the point of biting yun yung nagkakos ng hot spots number seven is anal gland inflammation Infected or impacted anal glands are painful and annoying. We did a video on this in the past. So dogs lick the area around the rectum and can cause hot spots under or on top of the tail. Number eight is poor grooming. Poor grooming. Dogs with unkempt hair coats bite at tangles, creating open wounds. Matted fur prevents air from reaching the skin and retains water after a dog swims or gets caught in the rain so that the skin stays wet. This sets a perfect environment for a hot spot. Especially kung halimbawa, if you're gonna groom your dog, bathe them, make sure that you dry them thoroughly. Otherwise, that area that yung dry sa ibabaw, uh, wet sa ilalim, or moist pa rin sa, sa loob, mga, ang ano dito yung mga double-coated dogs eh. This will, you are going to set up your dog as in, in a perfect environment for a hot spot to go. While the, these hot spots are incredibly frustrating for your dogs or for the dog to deal with, there is some good news because they can be treated and even prevented. The goal in treating a hot spot is to stop the trauma and prevent the development of a deep skin infection. So the first step in treating hot spots is to stop self-mutilation. or ways and options that you can do to prevent your dog from doing this, no? Number one, ano yung pwede yung gawin dyan? So, placing an Elizabethan collar. So, yung cone of shame that we call, no? Placing an Elizabethan collar, also known as e-collar or cone, can stop the dog from chewing at the hot spots. Siyempre, hindi nila maaabot, mas, mas, uh, mas safeguard natin yung wound. Number two is covering the hot spot with a sock or a bandage to act as a barrier. That is most uh, specifically useful if the areas with the hotspots are in the limbs or joints. Topical steroids and antihistamines to reduce the itching, but you need to consult your veterinarian first before using any medications intended for humans as they are all may sometimes be toxic to dogs. Minsan, it takes a combination of all these options to stop the trauma. In the meantime, ngayon ang una niyong gagawin, no? stop the trauma. In the meantime, the underlying cause of the hotspot must be addressed. No, So, very simple lang naman yan. If the hotspot formed as a result of impacted anal glands, then we'll need to express and drain the anal sacs. So, if the cause is a flea allergy, ma'am, madaming pulgas, madaming karapata, a flea control protocol monthly uh, is useful. So, madami tayo dyan. You have Revolution, NextGuard, Simparica, Bravecto, you just... You just use all these products, no? use the prescribed product, not at the same time, but use them on a regular basis. For inhalant or food allergies naman, your veterinarian can help you to begin with avoidance or desensitization therapy and may recommend a hypoallergenic diet. All this can be discussed and suggested to you by your veterinarian. For ear infections naman, the underlying yeast or bacteria will be treated. We did a video on this. Ito, yan. Okay, panoorin niya yan. Ha? Click on that. If boredom or behavioral issues are the reason for your dog to traumatize himself, training and behavior modification or additional exercise and enrichment and or, medi or, or medication such as antidepressants uh, can be prescribed. But ask your veterinarian about it first. No? Uh, minsan kulang lang talaga sa ano? Kulang lang talaga sa exercise and activity ng dog. Kaya they tend to do all these things, destructive things either sa surfaces ng bahay or to themselves. If poor grooming is the cause naman, seek a professional that knows how to handle uh, with a pair of clippers. Bili nyo sa grooming centers. They're all over the country. So, you may need to visit them. No? Clipping the hair away from the hot spot and the surrounding area of the hot spot is crucial to, for a successful treatment plan. The hot spot will heal more quickly if the hair is removed so that the lesions can dry properly, makakahinga. And you can easily apply those medications properly. 
Grooming may be painful, so your dog may need to be sedated beforehand or give it pain medications. No? After clipping, the lesion should be disinfected with a chlorhexidine. Wala chlorhexidine, you can use betadine or iodine, sorry. Solutions that kills bacteria. Topical antibiotics, desiccating sprays, and soothing reagents will be more effective when applied to a clipped, clean skin surface. Oral antibiotics and steroids or antihistamines may also be in order for serious hotspots. How can hotspots be prevented? Continued monitoring and treatment of the underlying cause should prevent future hotspots. No? So, some dogs also benefit from periodic grooming uh, as well as regular brushing and bathing. So, I hope you learned something from this video. If you have questions regarding hotspots, please visit any of our Dog Friends Animal Wellness Centers or you may call these numbers. Or you may visit us at www.dogfriendsawc.com. This has been your vet, Doc Friends Resho. See you again soon. Like, share, and follow.